Okay, yeah, that's fine. Just cut me off. That's oh my god, I almost just shitted my adult diaper. Why did I just get flipped off? I can flip you up too. Anyways, hi guys. How are we doing? <laughs> it has been an absolute minute and a half, I think, since I have filmed and uploaded a vlog. I've just really been enjoying life off the internet. However, I wanted to start a vlog one because it's truly been forever, but I'm also doing it because I'm doing some fun stuff and wanted to bring y'all along. I have a fitting with Acne Studios in about three hours for an event that they are hosting tonight. Anyways, it's a gorgeous day and I will see you guys in a little. There are so much beautiful stuff. Let's start trying it on. I also have to try it on quickly because I am illegally parked. <laughs> cool thing about being a sample size is that my entire stomach is spilling over the sample pants. All right, we have another option, which is this skirt. But guys, can we notice what it does for my ass? Granted, it's literally not closed in the front, but can we notice what it does to my ass? cutting to me eating but we are at Ruby Rosa and it is beyond if you are gluten intolerant come these mozzarella sticks oh my god who wants to double dutch Corbin blue no okay I just saw someone stare at me. It is the next day and I'm leaving my apartment in like an hour and a half to head to dinner before a Loewe event. However, I need to get some work done on the new Middle Kids stuff. And so I have a ton of the hats. I've got to distress these so that the message I want to come through comes through. It's been like an hour. I got through a solid amount of hats and I'm just getting dressed. I'm meeting my friend Katie for dinner and then we're gonna go to the Loewe movie, the movie night extravaganza. Katie and I just finished dinner. We got to the movie theater for the movie. We are in fact the first two people here. But that does mean that there is so much selection of candy. Can someone tell me why the Twizzlers have gluten in them? Like I know someone's gonna give an educated answer as to why. I don't care. Why? I didn't really vlog anything after because I literally crashed after the movie. But oh my god, Challengers was such a good movie. I loved literally every single part of it except for the last minute. The last minute of the movie was horrible. But I'm heading back to Delaware today except first I am getting breakfast with my friend Eric. So let's go to breakfast, okay? <laughs> Me? My friends. Okay, this salad looks really good though, like be honest. <laughs> it's like 10 in the morning and this f***ing <laughs> F-slur ordered a salad. I like how you almost said the actual word. You're like, wait, F-slur. And then I was like, I don't want to bleep that. I don't want to edit that. I want to interrupt the vlog because this video is sponsored by Helix Sleep and I'm so excited to be working with them again. If you guys do not know, Helix is a premium mattress in a box company that takes all of your unique needs and wants in a mattress and ships it directly to your door. The mattress comes rolled up in a box and is so easy to set up. I just got a new apartment in New York as a lot of you guys know. And yeah, you guessed it. I didn't even have to think about it. I was like, I, it needs to be a Helix. I have had Helix mattresses for so many years. They are just my favorite thing. I love Helix mattresses so much that I've even gotten friends and family Helix mattresses because my guest room is of course a Helix mattress and when they sleep on it, they really can't get enough and they always talk about how good of sleep they get. To which I'm always like, 
Yeah, babe, I know I have the same mattress. Now, in order for Helix to match you with the perfect mattress, you need to take the Helix Sleep Quiz, which is a super easy questionnaire where you put in your preferences, and they match you up with the perfect mattress. When I took the Helix Sleep Quiz, I said what bed size I wanted, I said that I like a medium firmness, and that I'm a side sleeper, and I got paired up with the Helix Midnight Luxe. Now, speaking of Luxe mattresses, Helix is having their Memorial Day sale, which you don't want to miss, because they are giving you, Mike Clementines, 30% off all Luxe and Elite mattresses plus two free pillows or 25% off site-wide. Now I know buying a mattress online can seem scary or daunting, but with Helix, there is not only a 100 night sleep trial to make sure that you love the mattress, but Helix mattresses also include a 10 year warranty as well as financing options and flexible payment plans. With all of that said, if you want better sleep, be sure to go to helixsleep.com slash chrisclemens to get 30% off all Lux and Elite mattresses plus two free pillows or you can enjoy 25% off the entire website during their Memorial Day sale, which is running now for a limited time. I can't say enough great things about Helix. Thank you for working with me again, and let's get back to the vlog. So it's Saturday. I'm about to go run some errands with my mom. However, it is never a dull moment in the Clemens household. On top of Booger throwing out her back and not being able to do literally anything, I go upstairs this morning to find Worm has eaten an entire vape pen. I found pretty much the entire exterior of it, but the little wax cartridge was emptied. Miss Wormy, you a little stony baloney? You a little stony baloney sandwich? This is why we don't get up on the kitchen table and take vape pens. This is Worm's <laughs> I am taking this seriously. This is just, oh Worm, I don't mean to laugh at you. Like, I feel so bad, but also, I don't know where else to leave a vape pen if not the kitchen table. This is her little stoned dome, and we're gonna just cuddle, okay? It's gonna be okay, Miss Wormy. It's gonna be okay. My mom and I are doing puzzles and diamond art. I no longer feel bad for Worm at all because she is living out my stoned Pinterest dreams. Like, I want this. I want someone to do this for me when I'm stoned. Here is a dog not on drugs. That. Is it so contrary? Happy Sunday, he hath risen! Oh wait, I think that might just be Easter. Scrap, scr run it back, Turbo. Happy Sunday, I am sitting at the table doing more of my stick and poke. I just finished up the sky of my diamond art, and I'm really, <laughs> I love diamond art. Oh my god, it's like an illness, but it's not hurting anyone, so thank you. Hi vlog, so it's been a minute. All you guys missed was on Tuesday, I went and got lunch with my bestie Patrice, who I've known since like kindergarten, she was on the East Coast visiting. I then went up to New York on Wednesday and filmed street videos and then just had fun with my friends for like a day. And now it's Saturday and I'm about to leave for the airport because I'm going to Chicago today because I'm joining Two Hot Takes on some of their shows and today we have two in Chicago. I don't know what's going on lately, but the last couple of times I've had to pack for like overnight stays or something. I've forgotten underwear and socks. There's no need to comment on that. I just kind of needed to get that off my chest. I really am so excited for these two hot take shows. We have two in Chicago tonight, and then we've got two in Philly on Thursday, and then two in New York on Friday. Woo! Put your little toothpick arms in the air! Woo! I'm just excited to see how this goes because I feel like this could turn into a future tour, the two of us. Can someone explain to me why they're serving the lunch menu at 10 a.m.? It's like a Saturday 10 a.m., not even like a work week 10 a.m. Doing sound check. This is crazy. I feel like I'm about to give the TED talk of a lifetime right now. Okay, guys, we just finished two shows. I literally had the best time. I love two hot takes. Blue Malnati's has a gluten free deep dish. I got a pepperoni with garlic. Like, I can't. Believe this is real. Like, not gonna lie, I was really sad that I 
It was like, wow, it's sad I will not have deep dish. I opened the thing and typed in gluten-free pizza. This came up, I damn near almost died. Shout out to Mark at the venue who got this from the DoorDash while I was on stage. Wait, the tumbler bean or the cumbalambia bean? The Chicago bean is behind a fence and I want a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, me, I'm just a tree. Wait, I found a little hole in it. Oh my god, come on, hole. Guys, oh, I look like I've been through it. There's, can you even see that? Oh yeah, there it is, look at that big <laughs> I just ate the beans. Ready, set, ah! Okay, we got a screenshot. All right, let's get back in the van. So I'm back from Chicago. Hi, Wormy, I missed you. It was just super fun. The shows were everything. I'm so excited to do them in Philly and New York this week. Anyways, I'm heading into New York for dinner because Claudia and Phineas are in town. Anyways, that's the... Oh my God, Chris, you are not flexible enough to be doing that. All right, I made it to New York. I am dressed for dinner. I don't know how I'm making it on time, but I am. I have unhinged playing in the apartment when I leave, so it sounds like I'm here. And also views. Running a content farm. Dinner with Claudia and Phineas was so Nice, it's really fucking good, you know? If you see these, I'm not getting a skin transplant. I just have like one of those nose zits that's coming in and it's like so painful already and I like don't even know where it is, hence why it looks like I'm grafting skin right now. Anyways, don't know why I added that to the vlog, but tonight is Billy's album listening party at Barclays Center for her album, Hit Me Hard and Soft. I'm going with my bestie Morgan, which is gonna be so fun. Oh my God, I can't get over this nose thing, I have to go. I'm back in Delaware, I got very few sleep. Very few, very little sleep. Okay, sorry, I just had a buffer. I didn't know what to expect for a, an album listening party at like an arena. That was one of the coolest things. I felt like it was like almost spiritual. And the album is so fucking good. I'm just forever in awe of how they're able to make music that always feels so different and new and I don't know, I could circle jerk them all day long after last night, that was crazy. Anyways, I have the Two Hot Takes Philadelphia show tonight, so I'm home and just sort of getting some stuff done before that, and then we have New York tomorrow. I've gotta go do some work now and prepare for the two shows tonight. I'm excited because some of my friends are coming, so that'll be fun. And my mom's coming, so that'll be fun. I just, I just really need to drink this coffee, and I'll talk to y'all later. We just finished the first show, and we're about to do the second in Philly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so good at vlogging. Um, I vlogged my mom and all my best friends from Delaware being here. So pretend you saw that. <laughs> Thank you. Last show, we're in New York. Justin, get in here. Ah. <laughs> well, it's the end of the vlog, and like every other vlog, I have forgotten to record an outro. I thought I was gonna do a much better job vlogging doing the Two Hot Takes tour, but Everything was very go, 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 and I just didn't want, as like the guest, to be like holding anyone up or like talking over people or anything so I could vlog, if that makes sense. But to everybody who came out to the shows, that was so magical and so fun and just personally, it was really reinvigorating and confidence boosting. I just felt really funny and good and I hope Morgan and the rest of the Two Hot Takes team are happy with how the shows with me went and yeah I'm gonna go enter hibernation now so I'll talk to you guys when I talk to you but 
I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Be sure to subscribe. I know the vlog was all over the place, but I haven't vlogged in a minute and I like really forgot what vlogging is like, so. Forgive me, Father, I've sinned.